The 26th annual conference of the leagues of aviation and airport correspondents came alive over the weekend with top-notch industry players and investors speaking passionately at the gathering while preferring long and short-term solution confronting the Nigeria aviation sector. We're looking at the airport, farm, Nama. It's beyond that. We need to grow the business. Airport doesn't make money without you growing business around it. You need, you can build the best effort, but you don't develop businesses around it. It's not going to work. The economics of operations has to be looked at vis-a-vis -vis what the airlines can do. But to do that, the regulator has a responsibility to ensure that we're not frittering away our resources. If the plan, without taking cognizance of the rule of avi aviation, it will fail. And so, because this is so intertwined, whatever happens, the economy impacts immediately on aviation. So if the economy gets better, you know, available funds to the indigenous will be there for them to fly. This year's edition beamed a searchlight on Sunset Airport, its economic and safety implication. Notable professionals were on ground to discuss the issues led by the chairman of the occasion, Mr. Bankole Bernard. To discuss this topic, and I believe that as we proceed, we will deliberate on the best way forward to ensure that we raise the standards and ensure economic growth in our airports and the industry in general. The system is set up to threaten the survivability of the airline in Nigeria. There's no shortcut to it. You will buy your airplanes more expensive. You will pay more expensive insurance costs. You will continue to sell in Naira and maintain your aeroplanes in dollars. And then on top of it, when it's Ramadan, you can't even fly the aeroplane. Small weather like this, you can you can't fly. <laughs> now quickly define Sunset Airport as restricted operation. It's as simple as that. It's a situation where out of 24 hours in a day, you decide, accept, you're constrained, or for whatever reason, to use less than 24 hours in a day. Most of the airports close by 6, 6 p.m. And that is what we're looking at. Can't we extend this operation beyond 6 p.m. for this uh, airport so that we can have more flights? And when you have more flights, you have fears coming down and uh, op more, options to the uh, more options to passengers. The guest of honor was Minister for Aviation, Hardy Sirika, amongst other stakeholders in the industry. The chairman of LAAC, Mr. Olusegun Kweke, speaks further on the success of the event. We came up with this team and we believe that at the end of the day that everybody will go home happy and whatever communicate, whatever the agreement that all the participants here, they reach, uh, we will send it out to the respective authorities, even to the federal government, for possible implementation as we've been doing in the past. The challenges of this airline does not border the people that manage the industry. So when you have even the commercial manager tell them, they tell you you are just a technocrat. And Dr. Demura is always saying, good politics, bad economics. And who is suffering bad economics? The airlines. The role of government is facilitation, uh, provision of essential services, and uh, NAMA is one of the government agencies that provides essential services in the industry. If all the airlines are out, there's no need to have the airports. There's no need to have uh, 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 ground handling staff. So when you look at it, it has a ripple effect on everybody. And the earlier we quickly leave it in the board, the better for all of us. And that's what we're clamoring here. The event also honored diligent and hard-working former chairman of the association and other outstanding performers in the sector with an award. I would like to thank the League of Airport and Aviation Correspondents uh, for this award. 